All right, man, a uh, quick sip over here, man, I'm going to style um, for all you, man, I mean, it's like, so here's this, um, for water changes, I just have a five gallon um, bucket over here, and I constantly have water over here, and what I do over here is like, right now I'm using this seek in, uh, it could be any dechlorinator, I, I, I put it in there, and, but I do like to run this for like, I don't know, overnight, 24 hours, or whatever. It's just one of those, uh, these pumps that you can get on Amazon for like 12 bucks, whatever, and you just have water just circulating, which, um, I don't know, to me, it's a psychological thing. I, I'm making water that is presumably good for my, my babies, um, mid and all that stuff. And, uh... The reason why um, the reason why I decided to just hit record um, is, by the way, this is like the whole of uh, I love beer, I love craft beer, and over the years, like I've collected like every like can that I drank, I I try to peel off. Um, what was on the beer can, I guess. Uh, it's pretty awesome art when you look at it. Like, I look at this every day. I was like, man, there's some, like, freaking awesome. Like, can you find yourself here? Look, the person that drew that, like, probably knows everybody in there. You know, and you have, like, freaking Van Halen thing going on over here. Yeah, Freddie Mercury here going on. You have this like '80s like skaters like motif going on, uh, but it's that put aside. The reason um, one one of the things that is like the biggest question that I was asked is like, how frequently do you change the water? What should the size be? Uh, based on what I have, it, it, it just all depends. There is no one answer at all. It really depends on um, the lineage that you have. Um, it depends on how strong they are, how they were kept. And I have like literally probably like 30 young juveniles in a five gallon Alcuyon tank. But knowing that, um, I'll change probably like 90% of the water once a week. And they do fine. Um, if you wanna leave a bigger batch and you don't wanna do any water changes, you have to get a larger container. So, a lot of times when, um, you know, like I have this many fish, how many times should I change the water? Uh, there is no answer. Um, oh, this is a pretty freaking cool one. Fluent in sarcasm and all that. And like, these are all the beers that I probably drank like over 10 years ago. And when I'm going through this, it's, I don't know. It's freaking awesome. Um, wow. Like, but uh, to make a long story short, a lot of times it's like, how many gallons do I need? Um, <coughs> you can make it work. If you only have a five gallon aquarium and you have 20 midakas, you can make it work. But you just have to learn from yourself, like your experience. Like, who is the best teacher? The best teacher is you. Um, there is no, like, I can never tell you this is the, the, the method to keep your 20 midakas in your five yellow aquarium. You have to figure that out. And the best teacher is always going to be your medakas. By observing them, 
they will tell you and teach you what needs to be done. I think a lot of times people forget to spend the time to observe the Midakas. And I think people just get too, like, fluctuated or into, like, what the internet is telling them. But that's not the way to go. It's the way it needs to go. It's like, you observe them, you watch them eat, you watch them swim, and their behavior will tell you what you need to do. It's not somebody on the internet telling you this is what you have to do. It's them telling you what needs to be done so that they can swim happily and all that stuff. So, um, let me just take a little quick sip. That's like the, that's, man, in a way that, that, that bugs me. It bugs me that people are just asking about like what they should do without like actually spending the time to observe their fish, observe their medakas and just like asking like, what do I do? What should I do? Man. The answer is in front of your face. The answer, the babies are telling you what they need and what they want, right? So spend the time watching them. And if they don't look happy, there's something wrong. Maybe it's the water change. Maybe it's the, the water that you're changing is too drastic and it's not like really um, doing the dulio, meaning it's like the transition is too fast. They'll tell you when they don't like things, but like learning from them, observation is the most important thing that you can do. Um, so I know I'm rambling on and I know I'm just like, man, all these beers that I've drank over the years with these cool levels, man, it's freaking awesome. But I'm just doing this just because it's for the members, um, the Medaka Head members. And, but, man, spend more time uh, with, your, with your tanks and with your fish. Learn from them. They will teach you um, what is not going well and what it what is going well so don't rely on google don't rely on youtube and all that stuff for people telling you how things should be because there there are so many freaking different ways to make things work and I noticed that a lot because a lot of people would ask me, like, what is the best way? It's like, man, I can't tell you the best way. It just depends. And they're like, what do you mean it just depends? Like, well, it depends on your lifestyle. It depends on, you know, the size of the There are so many different, different uh, configurations, right, to try to make things work out. But, uh, all right, so enough of me. Um, I, just, I just had a conversation with a buddy and this is uh, something that came up on a topic. It's like, man, there is no one way. You got to figure things out, but you have to spend time observing your fish. And they will tell you what they like and what they don't like. And from that, it's feedback. You try to adapt and figure out what is best for your situation and for their environment and all that stuff. And this is freaking pretty awesome right here. So with that, I know it got kind of pretty long, but I'm just here in my bathroom, just staring at some of the beers that I've drank over the decades. And uh, there's some cool logos and uh, that I get inspired by. By the way, I love 
photography and I love design and it really like excites me when I see something that's pretty 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 awesome so all right so we'll do you next time um one thing that I would like to mention is like I think I mentioned something about um some members thing and when there's a all right, forget about it, man. I'll talk about that next time. So, don't want to get to oh, all you men up heads up there. Just, uh, I figure I'd just like um, post something um, that was in my head, basically. And that is what this extra post is all about for me. So, it's something that's lingering in my head that relates to Medakis. So, We'll do it again next time. All right, out.